In this video, we're reviewing the VisionWorks rear camera system that we've installed on our Airstream. We purchased this system from Techno RV, and we're going to share with you our experience and whether you should buy this for your RV or not. Hey guys, welcome back to Zephyr's Travels. I'm Randy, and in this video, we're gonna talk about this backup camera that we installed a few months ago on our Airstream. And do we like it? Do would we recommend it to, for your trailer? Have we had problems? We're gonna get into all that stuff. But first, we're gonna start out with the unboxing. And so I'm gonna roll that footage here of when we bought the camera and unbox it for the first time. And I'll share that with you, and then we'll come back here and we'll start talking about the performance of the camera. So this is a new backup camera. And you're gonna say, well, what do you mean a new backup camera? You already have one. Air, your Airstream came equipped with a Voyager backup camera. And you're right, it did. We've had some problems with our camera. And the biggest issue, and apparently from what I've seen when I've looked at some of the Air Forums blogs, is that uh, they get moisture in behind the lens. So this is our backup camera. And if you can see here, there is a lot of moisture in the lens area. I've taken this apart, I've cleaned it, I've sealed it with silicone. I've actually put tape on it the last time because of that. I've also had an issue with the antenna breaking and it's not staying in place, so that's been taped in place. So basically a lot of, a little bit of work here to kind of keep this camera working. And I finally figured that it's just really not worth it. This amount of moisture here pretty much ruins the rear view. The camera lens is right here. You cannot see at all with it. It's time to replace that camera, basically. And I've looked around and I noticed that Techno RV carried these vision work cameras. I'll show you that here. And according to Eric at Techno RV, he did not want to carry a backup camera on his store because he hadn't found one that he liked the quality. Well, he tested vision work and he really likes it. It has good uh, reception between the camera and the monitor and the video quality is 1080p. So that is Blu-ray quality for. So we bought one. Now this isn't sponsored by them. We do have an affiliate link in our description that you can use to buy one and it will help out our channel. We'd really appreciate that if you used it. But I bought this one, you know, called them up just like you would and placed an order and had it sent to me. So this is going to be a very unbiased um, review of this camera and installation. So inside the box, we got our instructions, a sticker, my receipt. This camera is um, a five inch monitor with a Voyager mount, the mount um, is no additional charge, and it costs $399. You've got a power cable. You've got a number of different types of mount. This would be the suction cup mount that you'd put on the windshield. There's also a cup holder mount that you can use for the camera right here. And not for the camera, for the monitor, I should say. This here is the camera. There's some quick connects for the wiring. This is the, the standard mount that they give you with the camera. And this is the one I'm probably going to use because I'm guessing these holes will come closest to what's on the Airstream. some hardware and some wiring for the camera. This looks to be an adapter to connect into a pre-wire uh, situation. And this is if you need to wire it yourself. Here's the plug that goes to the camera and then the wiring into your existing. Uh, most people wire these directly into the running lights. This is the camera. Um, 
you can see it's all metal case looks to be very solid they actually build these cameras not so much for rvs but for industrial usage like heavy equipment or farm equipment and such so these are very rugged it has a number of led lights for night um, i'm assuming these are infrared lights so that they don't actually shine light backwards but use infrared technology to be able to have night vision there is a grommet here that you know for keeping the everything from water from getting into your uh, rv and then the wiring this is a switch for if you need to pair this with a monitor it comes prepared with the existing monitor that's in here but if you need to pair it with another monitor or maybe replace your monitor or something this is how you would do it here I put this would put it in a pairing mode you would most likely take this and stuff it inside the skin of the RV so that it's out of the way you have two antennas one for the camera and one for the monitor in here we have a 120 volt adapter and plug for the monitor you're going to say why 120 volt why not 12 volt the idea here is that you could actually take the monitor inside your trailer and use it as a security camera while you're parked at a campground there is a quick release type uh, mount similar to like a cell phone mount that you can use to attach to your dash and you can use this can be attached to the back of this cup holder mount this is the monitor that they give you it is a five inch diagonal monitor it has a power lead in here this seems to be a very similar power lead to what the camera uses so i'm guessing that you can like i said you can plug it in here and use it 120 volt looks like we actually have two in there so you could actually run the camera off 120 volt if you wanted and you can also run this off of the cigarette lighter plug or you could cut this and direct wire it if you wanted a couple things to note on this camera there is a coating on this this is an anti um, glare coating it they recommend that you leave the coating on if you use polarized sunglasses because it will allow you to see the camera better with your sunglasses on um, so i'm going to leave that on for now there are buttons along this edge here you've got let's see you've got a record button so this has the capability to record like a dash camera but this would be a rear view camera recording and you can see here there's a slot for a memory card um, you can pair multiple cameras to this um, technical RV actually sells side view camera kit that um, mount on your side markers they actually replace your side markers with a marker and a camera that's all wired together and uses that power so you could have a side view to see your blind spot while you're going down the road there's a power button on here a volume button and a couple other buttons which I'm not sure what they are until I get into the instructions well this is everything that comes in the kit all your wiring your cameras your different mounts that you can use plus an additional mount that you can request to fit your type of uh, mounting that you may have on your trailer your instructions some packing material now I called it a backup camera but it's really more than just a backup camera it's actually a rear view camera so you want to use it at all the time while you're traveling so that's why you wire it in to the running lights on your trailer but you do want to be able to rely on it when you're backing up because without a good reliable camera something like this could happen so let's get into this camera we're going to move over to the truck and we're going to talk about the performance of this camera what i like about it what i don't like about it and would i recommend it for you 
We're now in our 2021 F-150, and the year is a little bit important to the story about this camera setup um, because, well, we'll get into that. But I wanted to first show you how we mounted the uh, monitor inside the truck. So as you can see here, the monitor is mounted on the dash using a ram mount. And the, the ram mount is actually bolted to the dash. There's a little storage cubby up in the front uh, on the top of the dash and it was a rubber mat and I removed that. Um, actually put a couple bolts through the top of the dash and attached the ram mount. So this puts it very securely here. It also allows me to put it lower on the dash and closer to me versus a windshield mount. I like this setup and I actually had my other uh, rear view camera monitor mounted the same way. One of the issues that we ran into right off the bat with this setup is when I went to plug it into the cigarette lighter using the provided uh, 12 volt lead, I found that it didn't work. Now there's nothing wrong with this lead. I did contact Techno RV and told them I had an issue with it and they immediately sent me a replacement one out but I don't think this is the problem. Um, I think it's something with an incompatibility with this and the cigarette lighters in our F-150 because I couldn't get a power read on this. To get it to work because we were headed off on to a week-long trip what I ended up doing was I cut the plug off the one that came with this setup and hardwired it right to the fuse box. So this is hardwired into the fuse box of the truck. It is set up so that you know I don't have to mess with plugging it in or having that cord um, running around here. In fact, I actually buried the cord behind the dash so that you don't even see it. The next issue was actually getting the system to connect. Um, what I found was that where I was when I was in the truck, the monitor would not connect to the camera. I ended up messing around with it now. They do give you a 120 volt um, power lead. And what I ended up doing was taking the monitor out of the truck, walking to the back of the Airstream, and connecting the two of them together and then bringing it back to the truck and then they would stay connected for a little while. But then the connection would break and, well, then it wouldn't be connected. And our first trip, we were on the road for about six to eight hours. And most of that trip, this did not work. I left it on the full trip but it was not connected, um, it kept saying no signal. So that was an issue, but then for some one reason, it just connected and started working. So I don't know why that is and what caused that. It's been connected fairly well since then, but the one issue that we have is signal strength. And actually you can see a little bit right here as we talk, I do have the trailer um, running lights on, and I have this setup turned on here. And what you can see is occasionally this will drop out. The signal will drop out on here. And you can see there's the signal strength is varying quite a bit. It goes up and down, up and down. And that's been an issue right from the start with this. The signal on here has frozen on us on a number of occasions. And it's also been very delayed. And it's really based on what you see here in signal strength. So like right now where the signal is strength is really low and it may actually drop out I've had had the signal freeze on the um, monitor and I actually believe that's what caused our accident with the trailer when I was backing up I was watching this monitor instead of having a spotter outside the trailer and I believe this the monitor froze and it did not update that the trailer was veering off the road at that time. Because I saw a road straight behind me, I did not think I was having an issue until I glanced into the mirrors and noticed that the trailer was going sideways. I really believe that if you're going to get us anything like this for your RV, that you be very careful in where you purchase it from. I bought this from Techno RV and I'm actually very pleased that I did because they stand behind their products. I reached out to Eric Johnson, who is the owner of Techno RV. I mentioned to him that, you know, we've been having problems with this uh, setup, um, especially with the being connected issue. Actually, 
I actually opened up an IT ticket and their tech people contacted me before they even saw that email from Eric. So they are right there to get a hold of me to talk about what possibly could be the issue with the connection. And this is going back to when it wasn't connecting at all. So I had a few conversations monthly through email with them and they put me in touch with the support person from VisionWorks. His name was Cody. We talked back and forth on the phone a few times and he says that there has been some issues with newer vehicles like our 2021 F-150 but also with other makes of vehicles too. The amperage being delivered to the running lights is lower than what this camera may need and that's caused sometimes called the issue where the camera and the monitor do not connect. Now they sent to me a box that I could plug in between the seven-way pin on the truck and the, and the connection on the trailer and I believe what that would do is it would actually use the running light signal from the truck as a signal and then it would flow the power directly from the 12 volt output that charges the battery so it would have a, a stronger amperage of power to the lights that should run the camera. Through other conversations with Cody I told him that you know I had the issue even when I was running the trailer lights off of the trailer battery and I don't know if you've, if you've ever done this you can take the 12 volt lead off of your trailer battery and jump it to the running lights by just using a fuse and I was doing that and at the time I was originally setting this up and I could not get a good connection so I don't believe it was an amperage issue on my particular setup I actually feel that it was probably a signal issue and Cody kind of agreed with me that because an Airstream has the aluminum body the signal has a hard time passing through that um, trailer to get to the truck and if you look at this here's the antenna here on the monitor is low um, inside your truck you've got to really got to pass a signal through the trailer or around the trailer to get here if it's going around here then you've got more chance of having interruptions of signal strength which I believe is what was going on here Cody did send me a remote antenna that I could mount on the roof of the trailer and it had a 12 foot cord so I could move that antenna to, almost to the center of our trailer and, and then shorten that distance and hopefully strengthen the um, signal. Unfortunately the unit he sent me did not work. When I connected that trailer I could not get a signal on the monitor at all and I believe it, there's something wrong with the wiring on that plug on that um, antenna that it wasn't allowing to work because I, I tried a couple things these antennas here are removable so I removed the, the existing antenna off the trailer put it on the remote mounting and that didn't help I just couldn't get it to work and I was really disappointed because I really believe that would have fixed the issues we were having so I'm hoping that's just a unique situation with me but I decided because I have this I wanted to put some road testing on it and use it a little bit I've had it for about two months we've driven almost 3,000 miles with this setup it's very disappointing in that the signal strength issue is really a problem uh, when you're going down the road it's either a lot of times it's either delayed or frozen and so if you see a vehicle coming up behind you a lot of times you can look over to the side of you and that vehicle will be passing you already even though it's still showing behind you in the rear view monitor so you really don't trust this you can use it to kind of say oh, okay maybe there's somebody behind me then check your mirrors you know that's really how I've been dealing with this I really got to get a plug to Techno RV because they've been absolutely wonderful to work with Eric from Techno RV reached out to me after watching the video that we posted with the damage to our trailer just want to make sure we were okay and that everything was all right in the reply to his comment I put a note in there saying Hey guys, you know, I really feel that the rear view camera system that we bought from you guys failed in this situation and is uh, contributed to the damage to our trailer. The ultimate blame for that does fall to me because I was backing up. 
I should have had someone out there as a you know spotter and watching and making sure that nothing happened but I didn't and I relied on the camera and the camera froze and we hit that gate doing the damage to the trailer Eric replied back to that and said we stand by our product if you're not happy with it let us know and we will refund your money and you can return it I thought that was absolutely awesome he says he they do that for any customer so if you decide that you want this set up for your um, RV I would highly recommend that you buy it through Techno RV give it a try if it doesn't work for you send it back that's my recommendation I do like a few things about this setup and so let's talk about that the image quality on this monitor is awesome it's high def it's a 1080p signal strength the Voyager monitor we had was 480 that's DVD level image quality so that was not as good as this not as good detail so from that perspective I do like this setup the when the picture the picture is always a good sharp picture unfortunately it's just delayed sometimes or frozen another thing I like about this setup that um, I would recommend I do like the form factor of it the this is the five inch diagonal monitor I think it's nice for a truck where you have got you know not a lot of dash space and maybe you want to put it up you know up in your line of vision like we have it here this works well would I recommend this rear view camera setup from vision works for you this is a tough one it didn't work for us it didn't work for our Airstream if you had an Airstream I probably wouldn't recommend that you purchase this but Eric has said that they've had a number of customers have this set up. He's tested it on his uh, tow behind trailer and his motorhome, and he's had good success with it. So, my issue may be an outlier. It may be something that I got a bad monitor or a bad um, camera that just doesn't connect very well. If that's the case, you may want to try this. If you do, keep in mind that if you don't like it, send it back. Contact Techno RV, tell them that you're not happy with this setup and that you would like to return it. And they will refund your money. Um, if, like I said, though, if you had an Airstream, I probably wouldn't recommend it. Um, I'm going to replace it. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please um, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have actually tried this uh, vision work camera setup on your trailer and if you had good luck with it I'd love to hear that and if you haven't done so already subscribe to our channel we post videos on a weekly basis of our travels and every now and then we do a how-to video or a product review like this and we'd love to have you follow along with us until the next time we will see you down the road take care everybody